Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will be running a processor and memory benchmark speed test for the iPhone 5 and the iPad Air. The reason I'm comparing these products is because they have basically the same specifications and I just find it interesting to compare the little 4-inch iPhone 5 has that has the same horsepower as the 10-inch iPad. I will be using the Geekbench benchmarking tool which accurately measures the processor and memory prowess of different devices. The latest version of Geekbench, which is Geekbench 3, uses workloads that simulate real world scenarios. So uh, let's dive right in. So basically both of these guys sport an A7 64 bit dual core processor. The only difference is that the iPad is clocked at a higher frequency at 1.4 gigahertz and the iPhone is at 1.3 gigahertz. They both have one gigabytes of RAM and that's it. So let's dive right in. Let's launch Geekbench on both of these guys. There we go. And let's just make sure nothing else is running in the background. So let's um, get rid of that settings. Oops. The settings uh, menu. And let's do the same on the iPhone. Okay, get rid of that. and then let's run the benchmarks. The iPad Air is done and the iPhone 5 is almost done as well. So there we have it. We have a single core performance on the iPhone 5 at 1411 and a single core performance on the iPad Air at 1482. And the 5S comes in at 2540 for the multi-core performance. And the Air comes in at 2691. So as you can see, these numbers are quite very similar. And you probably get the higher number on the iPad Air because the frequency of the clock is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz as opposed to 1.3 on the iPhone 5S. So both these guys are pretty, pretty powerful uh, products. And they perform similarly as far as processing and memory goes. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.